Hey, hey, hello, my darling MVPs, my adorables, my sweethearts, my darling. How is this Wednesday morning turning out for you? Hope it's turning out fine. Meanwhile, it is actually WCW, Woman Crush Wednesday. To every beautiful ladies, to all the ladies that will be viewing this video right now, I crush on you all, especially to the reasonable ladies out there. I crush on you all on a 100%. Welcome back to Say With Me, Shosti Mimi, where you get Jeez, as it ever waiting, as it hurts. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on the bicycle on the channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Kindly post right now. Subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell because that is the only way you would get the gist from the cooking pot. So, guys, a lot have been staring on the social space. Of course, we all know that once reunions start like this, there will be a lot of things, right? So, there is no how I would want to gist you guys about the baby titan kids, and I will not talk about this big brother niger housemate right they come they come with each other they come in paripas so you get the point because actually we had big brother level up before the baby titan the, just little space right uh-huh so now we just see some hot takes right from this big brother reunion yesterday night and then we continue from from the baby titan kids so i would advise you watch to the very end okay so you keep up with your faith all right so guys it's been the battle of the best dress of this reunion. So, guys, I am asking you guys now, you may be sure viewers, who was your best dress yesterday? Anyways, Comrade Attitude said, highlight of yesterday's episode, Brian, most handsome and best dress, male. Amaka, most beautiful and best dress, female. They were classy, gorgeous, simple, and yet ate everyone up, no be by Gragra. Eh? It's giving me no be like gra gra shade and feet. Eh, then no feet. <laughs> so guys, let me know whom your best dress, male and female, is. Okay. Owoye said, Brian and Maka don't need to talk at all. Please just be blinking your eyes and be smiling. You guys don't look real. You both look like a teddy. Very cute. Did you see how black Vince Vince Pliff looks on Amaka? How black, okay, how black Vince Fleet look on Amaka? How about Brian's eyes? Oh, now eh, all the people on the social space who now know how to, you know, admire. If somebody should come and admire me like that now, so that I'll be blushing left, right, and center. <laughs> Anyways, don't mind me, guys. The social space is actually so hot right now. Like, when I say hot, like it is hotter than hot. So, talking about um Amaka and um Brian. Amaka and Brian being the best dress from some certain peeps, okay? Because most people have been talking about the two. Do you accept that or you have your own best dress? Let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, this was what Amaka was getting in her comments when she posted the picture of her clothing to the reunion on Twitter. Okay, I, this is just few because I have a lot of things to discuss here. So, I don't want to jump pack it with, you know, the reunion stuff. All right, Queen of Violence said, you look beautiful. Jen Toga said, Madam, I want all the ma men. Man was your prize, Osho the Kadi B, with your 5k gown, Tukura bodyguard. <laughs> no, now mouth go kill you. Now, most of you guys just have mouth on the social space. In real life, you do not even have mouth at all. Okay, Alaska said, You know, if you talk for reunion, now you come here and be typing nonsense with confidence, yes or no. Amaka and Doin, too classy bay. Yeah, I would add, I would accept. Yes, is he doing? I actually do remove my cap for that lady. I I love the charisma she brings. She has confidence as a lady, and I love it for her. So, guys, one of the hot things that's been going on on those social street was what Elo Swag said yesterday in the reunion. And me, Seb, that's thing they even wonder me. They were asking him ish concerning him and Fam Savi. He now brought in Chichi's name in that, like trying to put more rift between Chichi and um Fina. As he said, okay, let me read this out first. Let me read this out. As he said. For what reason did Elo Swag bring Chichi's name up in an issue that didn't consign her and used a lie from fans that Chichi asked her level to nominate Fina? Elo Swag, you're truly not trustworthy. You are a liar and a snake. You owe Chichi official an apology. Now, guys, I wanted to even discuss this. You know this reunion gist, right? It, it keep coming. It keep coming. So whenever it comes, thank God comments like this do come so that I'll be able to remember some gist I left untold, right? When Elo Swag was saying that, now I wanted to know what, what warrants that narration to even impute Chichi's name. 
Do you understand? Now she he was even trying to you know dodge his own bullets and trying to put Chichi's name in it, saying that um, even Chichi was even saying they should nominate Fina. It did not correlate with me. I was like, what is wrong with Elo Swag? So people have been wondering and been coming for him and like, why would you even impute Chichi name when they they discuss about you guys are talking about Fam Savi because Fam Savi actually said Shex was out there defending Groovy, right? Defending Groovy that you will not nominate Groovy. That Chomzi was out there defending Labour, but his own case was different. He now not carry Chichi name and put for Fina like he doesn't correlate. Choco Timmy said, I am glad everyone is seeing that snake for who he is. He is not to be trusted in any way. Very disgusted behavior. Like I keep, I still keep wondering, like why would you just, you know, impute teaching them? So netizens have gone out there. They now dug out a video when the level one and level two merged together and they started showing a video where Adekule was actually saying that Chichi does not want anybody to nominate, you know, Fina. Adekule, the demonstration Adekule was giving when Fina name is being mentioned and Chichi is trying to say, no, nobody should nominate her. Nobody, you know, okay. Another hot takes too was of that of Shags concerning Adekule, right? Some persons are saying that Shags and Bella are trying to be unnecessary defensive, that Adekule was not referring to them. But guys, in as much as sometimes I do not like how rude Shex and Bella could come across, but sincerely, I am standing on them with this one. I feel Adekule is being is not being real, like he's been trying to be corny with with that question. Okay, White Witch said a well known <clears throat> who is suffering from grandiosity disorder, someone who reeks of low self esteem. Reason he brags non stop about things he doesn't have. He took his time to read a lengthy letter and inserted his name. Agri foul with two left leg while holler. Now, guys, you know, you know, most of this thing is their fans actually defending their faith. Like we all say, fans come to defend their faith, you know, whether they are right or wrong, right? This is one of the things that is causing problem concerning Olivia and some fans right now. We will still get there. Okay, Shagugu said, okay, BBN reunion said, Shagugu and his market woman of a wife can gather people to talk about Adekule, but when it is turned, he is evil. Thunder that will fire your double standard on this TL. Cry from today to tomorrow. Tomorrow, Shags and Bella will always rise at the mention of Adekunle. Now, guys, if you read this tweet that I'm just reading out here, it's given that these people are Adekunle fans. They are Adekunle fans. I want a neutral body to judge this case. You guys are not giving me the gist. I want a neutral body to judge this. In as much as I, I keep saying it's Shags and Bella can appear rude, especially Bella. She can appear rude to a certain extent, which I do not accept. But you see this ish. Did you guys read the newsletter? I actually posted it. If you watch the video where I, did, I, I narrate what happened in the reunion, go through that video, you would see the newsletter. How Adekunle wrote those things. It is given he got info of some housemates spending. That was why he wrote it. I know Adekunle in the house. Okay, Menhen said, I am not surprised they're obsessed with Adekunle and his friends. Even his fans are obsessed with them. Adekunle, the topic. Bella is dumb saying Ade has a problem. Your narcissistic boyfriend and abuser, you don't see a problem with that. We are not talking about Shex and Bella right now. The reunion is still on, right? And definitely Abuka will touch light all those process. Let's deal with this one right now. You you fans, you fans, eh, the way you cover your faves. Anyways, let's talk about Olivia. Still talking about fans. That is why I'm talking about Olivia right now. So we all know that Olivia actually threw the bomb like, yesterday and actually later went out and was having, okay, not went out. Um, JP actually came visiting her because this is Olivia's house. They were having Netflix and chill, right? This video of them, you know, eating um pizza and then, you know, watching netflix and all that meanwhile guys how do you guys even enjoy pizza like i can't see myself eating pizza like i not in this life guys come on i don't even know how you guys enjoy it so um olivia and um, jp was you know enjoying themselves having pizza and all that and then the fans were like ha um olivia you have come to throw after training shed you are busy enjoying yourself if not minding any if not if minding my business as a person is olivia you know the fans were hailing her meanwhile she actually did say something after tweeting about the fans you know have trying to you know defend their faith even when they are lying or not this is what she said she said the keyboard warriors are the main reason the housemates move in a certain way do you know what is sweeting me about this thing? It is giving what I have already discussed with you guys about some certain housemates. You understand? Okay, though, Ntobi said, one thing about your, you, sweethearts, you tell the truth. I have discussed some of this thing with you guys, all right? Why it come up to some people like, Mimi, trust Mimi, you, you, you are actually not siding this person. Mimi, trust Mimi, you're this person's fan, you know? But thank God it is coming out from this housemate and so from, from their fans too. Okay, Tofumi said, after causing chaos, she, she will go and turn up with her friends. If unbothered was a person, it would be Olivia. Oh, only my love. I haven't forgotten you. I am busy with reunion. I love you forever. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, like as like as I was saying, 
are you trying to tell me that Olivia, in as much as netizens are coming for Olivia, right? I understand if you're coming for Olivia, if you think maybe your faith is on the table, she's breaking. But can't you guys be sincere for once? Do you think she's actually lying? Like, some of your fans move in a certain kind of way because of the listening to those fans. And it is not the right thing to do. She said, I hate when housemates don't take accountability. Here, yeah. was it the fans that invited you for podcast? I've been a fans use <clears throat> blackmail you to go there and talk rubbish for clout please i beg throw away the script this script now you see where the problem is i if you guys know if you follow my channel very well if you don't drop my videos you would know my stake when it comes to all this housemates you would know that all this housemates at a point in time i've actually defended them and when i feel that they are going wrong i would say it you guys would know that i was even on yvonne's side when yvonne was you know talking about this podcast that not really i was in yvonne's side i was like olivia would have even you know trashed it with yvonne than coming to podcast to say it right but right now i think some of the yvonne stars are going way on other ways like trying to put the podcast ish to what olivia is saying i do not think this is the reason why i do not think olivia had yvonne in mind in saying this you can have your say in the comment section as usual right but i do not think olivia had yvonne in mind in, in tweeting all of this she was doing yesterday until now okay l and l said sometimes it is actually good to put starship aside and understand people from a different perspective this tweet doesn't target anyone specific exactly my point that is what i'm trying to say remove starship just set on your brain to neutral setting and try to understand some things on a natural frame of mind it is actually super annoying shake my head she was doing it to trend now i don't know why truth is very hard to accept these days people People glorify lies. People like fake life. That is why some of the celebrities give you guys what you want. You want it fake and they give it to you. Hot thoughts as you want it. And you accept that fake life with your full chest. That is the problem. That's why I say some of these fans are the problem. True, true, they are. Okay. The word is yours said. You don't even know who Olivia was talking about. Yes, here you are talking nonsense the person that she was talking about whoever that person is they are the one to take accountability that is the point of this whole tweet people must take accountability and stop hiding behind fan she didn't even mention anyone's name on the podcast accountability to you because you be who foot sec winner <laughs> this is my word winner anyways guys now you've seen where the problem lies it's still among those fans when their faith come to say something right the only people that would accept what their faith said is the fans of that particular faith. Even if what that person is saying is the truth, other fans who are having issues, like the rivals of the fan base, fan base rivals will not accept the truth. That's why the, the person is saying the truth. So how are we going to solve this particular problem? If we don't solve this particular problem, we'll keep dealing with this thing day in, day out. Okay, Rush said... Olivia, my babe, this is coming from a good place because I adore you. I think housemates blame fans a little too much. Housemates are adults. They have autonomy over themselves. You are an adult. Move like it. Fans can't make housemates do what they don't want to do. Okay. Dying there by Cozy side. Oh, this is so me. Like, this name is really, really, really touchy. Dying there by Cozy side. Oh, this is how... The love is real. The love is real. Imagine the name. Okay. Oli Oli, I hear you, ne, but I also believe that it is in the power of ex housemates to make peace amongst themselves and show that they get along. But if you guys get along privately and not let fans see that you're all getting along, warriors will always defend nonsense. I accept this true. Now... It is true when this housemate, you know, when they are, first off, I would say they are adults, yes. And they should not let fans to, you know, narrate whatever their lifestyle for them. But the truth is some of this housemate fall prey to fans, which is not right, right? But the truth is the fans get to their head sometimes. So secondly is this, right? If they make peace, as this person said, and they are not showing it like they are, they are hiding it from the public, the netizens will definitely have a say. And that is the truth. That is why I keep saying this, that I love it when, when the housemates go for interview, the interviewer asks them about some things we do not see with our eyes and they get to clarify it. That is where, why I always say that. Okay, KR said, but also that's very well to allow being controlled by fans. As a housemate, do you, those who love you will love you, but care. Didi said, Didi Campbell said, that's really sad because those people will always talk. How can anyone live their life based on what fans say? Fans, really, that's truly sad and unhealthy. It is sad and unhealthy, but that is the blunted truth. People live to what fans say because you do not know how people reason. We as individuals reason in different ways. You understand? Some people have this esteem that they could not control. That They will be like, oh, my fans said this. Oh, no, 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 let me not do this. You understand? No matter how you try. 
Okay, Mr. Madiba's baby mama. Wow, woo. that is starting father. Oh, hey, okay. But how will housemates allow fans to control them? Other babies, don't they have minds of their own? Fans, they see the same thing that the fans see. Don't they see the same thing that the fans see? Or is it because of the f f gifting that's why they allow fans to control them? Okay, exactly. Oli Oli, it beats me how some of those housemates allow their fans to control them. Louder, my darling Olivia, they are all coward. Now, you see this tweet Olivia gave, it is given to different sides. Some people accept it, some people do not accept. And now, somebody said, Is it because of the gifts that the fan gives them? That's why some of those housemates, you know, allow the fans to have a say in their life. But, guys, you know, that thing seems like it's not a talk, but partially true. You know, the, there's this saying that said, When you gift a person, you are indebted to that person. You know, when somebody stretch out a hand for you, you feel like I owe this person this. That is one of the reasons. So that comment is actually right in a way. So guys, let's go to the gist now. So I did not tell you guys, right? The co-sirens, as usual, the Odogu fan base, they actually took um Kosi out for a spa date. <laughs> After all her stress, the interview stress and whatnot, you know, they actually took her out for, the, for a spa date. See guys, if there is not something called enjoyment, the person enjoying herself right now is Kosi. If they're asking you the meaning of enjoyment, just mention Kosi see the winner twala so they took her out as you can see she said thank you cupcake so they took her out for a spa day she, right, she had they had she had some manicure pedicure paint on and all that okay that it, she actually deserved it okay it is good for her it is giving a queen deserve that so talking about kosi kanaga jr left ghana already right so kanaga living ghana has already raised eyebrow guys so netizens are like they keep saying that Kosi and Kanaga Junior are not cool, and people are saying is they lie. They are cool. They are this. How can Kanaga Junior be in Ghana? Kosi came to Ghana and they did not see each other. Now Kanaga Junior has gone back to to Nigeria without seeing Kosi. So netizens have been on this matter discussing about Kanaga Junior and Kosi. Now I have come to ask you guys, what do you think about this? Do you think they are not really cool with each other, like netizens you know say? You think if they are cool with each other, they would have seen? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, but I will drop my two cents as usual. You know me, I'm a C. I will always say how I feel. Like now, I don't think they are enemies here, but I think they are not that close because you would not tell me if, um, for example, Miracle OP is in Ghana, Kosi would not meet up in Miracle OP, right? Or Marvin is in Ghana, Kosi would not meet up in Marvin. Or you would not tell me that if um, um, this person is in Ghana, Blue Eva is in Ghana, uh, Kanaka Junior will not meet up with Blue Eva, or if um Nelisa is in Ghana, even Yemi, Kanaka Junior would meet up with them. So it is given they are cool but not close, and it is okay if they, they are not that close, right? It is okay if Kosi is not close with Kanaka, it is okay, vice versa, right? So that is what me I think about this, right? So let me know what you think in the comment section because I will be there with you guys. All right, I'll be ending this on this note. Can I kiss you, sir? Wendy and I will set to later, guys. It is Kanaka Junior lips for me. Baby boy is so cute, right? He is so cute okay anyways guys i'm dropping my voice right here to hear from you guys what do you think about everything i just said here from the reunion to the housemates from those fans brohaha about olivia and it is coming for olivia and then Kanaga jr and kosi i just dropped my two cents i feel they are cool but they are not close because if not had they been they are close i think they should have met, met each other even if it's once even if it's shortly briefly you know anyways guys i'll see you guys in the comment section okay bye bye thank you so much for watching and i love you have a great day babies